I think the cinematic style is a very distinctive one. It's possibly also the most complicated of the four because there are many, many, many things at play here. I think many things that go beyond the basic six um, elements of control. You know, I, I wrote a complete uh, a detailed essay about defining the cinematic style um, on my site. You can see the, the link here. Uh, if you want to look at that in a, in a bit more information, uh, a bit more detail. Now, cinematic is the toughest of the lot, and I, I think there is a slight misconception that it's basically shallow depth of field and directional light. It's not. It's a little bit more subtle than that. I think you need to consider what you're trying to say, what mood you're trying to create, and then work backwards from there. So, we will shoot some cinematics, and I will show you some examples of how I do it in, um, in an, a real live scenario, uh, and then we'll talk about those. There's an interestingly nice tight 69 down here. Um, you know, I, it really needs a person walking through the foreground to complete it, but since this um, dock is off access to the public, I don't think we're going to get that. But, you know, in the meantime, I, I do see a fantastic um, atmospheric shot here. And it's, it's one I'm deliberately going to underexpose a bit because I want, um, I want to have this feeling of, you know, it is daytime now, and, but I'm going to process it such that it, it actually feels like late evening, um, mid-evening, late afternoon. For that, I just need to leave myself enough latitude. I'll shift the colors. Um, I will try to keep my um, highlights tamed. And of course, the yacht as a subject in the background. Uh, you'll have seen this image earlier, I think, in How to See, if you also bought How to See. But um, the bit that interests me is here. Okay, I'm looking at my cut point of the railing and the dock, and this railing, which is now distracting, so I have to bring it back down again. I don't mind losing the antenna, it's not hugely important. Horizon must be flat. Now I'm going to shift this warmer towards um, a sunset type feel. Again, we'll white balance first, okay, that's neutral. If I shift it cooler, I don't think it suits the scene very much. I think this concrete area starts to feel unnatural. If I shift it warmer, we can imagine it's late in the day. Feels like evening, feels like evening um, somewhere on the sea. Well, it wasn't, it was actually just before noon. Um, color was shifted to be warmer to give this feeling of, of um, relaxation and evening and coolness, uh, sorry, not coolness, and, and um, calm, you know. It doesn't feel like there's any particular urgency. It feels like a lazy afternoon or a lazy evening just before setting sail. Um, I, I think that feeling comes across quite well because of the color. It's a very structured frame that pulls your eyes through from the bottom to the top. Um, and you, you, know, you can instantly orient yourself even at a glance because of these strong lines and because the, the frame gets lighter towards the top of it.